Alibaba Quen just released their Max model in preview mode and it's live on Open Router on their chat repository. It's a non-thinking model that is optimized for retrieval and tool calling. Today we will be testing out this tool completely for free for mainly coding tasks to see if it's actually worth it. On Open Router, this model is not cheap at all. It costs $1.20 for small context and $6 per million token output while for bigger context windows it requires $3 and $15 per million content. So you can understand that this is not a small model, this is a costly big model. On benchmarks it has a reasonable but not pretty amazing improvement to, you know, compared to the previous smaller Quenther model. On math it's a lot better on live code bench, it does a significant improvement. On Arena Hard and Live Bench, again, it does an improvement. But in general, it's a 1 trillion plus parameter model. So I expected something better. Of course, if you compare it with Kimi K2, which is of similar size in terms of total parameters, it does a very good job. However, I'd say that the jump is not good enough. So, you know, we should you know, have conservative, we, ha we should have conservative thoughts about how good it is. So on Quen chat, you want to select Quen 3 Max Preview. Again, this is a preview model, so it should potentially become better. I'm going to select web development and I'm going to start with the first prompt, which, which is building a Pokemon Pokedex web page. Let's see what this model can do. I really hope that this model is actually capable and it's going to at least make nice looking functional websites. We can see that the model is not fast at all. Of course, you know, Alibaba is part of China, so they don't have the latest GPUs. This is of course a problem for them because they don't have very fast inference. But we're, jump we're going to jump to the result so we don't waste any more of your time. We finally got the first result and I gotta say this website looks so so nice. Look at this. This is very beautiful, very clean. It has everything it needs to have, beautiful stats. In terms of web development, this model is a lot better than the previous Quen model. And this is, I gotta say guys, this is pretty nice also. It's very very responsive. Let's try Ivy. And yeah, this bar is working as well. In All in all, this is arguably, if not the best, maybe top two best responses on this prompt I have ever seen from any AI model. If you want to use more of Quen, you just got to log in with some kind of account. I usually use my Google account. So just make sure to do that so you have more and more usages. And let's try some other prompt. I'm going to create a simple Flappy Bird game. Again, I will use web dev, so it uses the compiler or whatever, the website preview, and let's see if it's able to create a Flappy Bird game. That would be quite interesting. And of course, if you want to learn more about making, you know, AI work for you, make more money than ever, I've got a very cheap course $20 one-time fee hosted on Udemy. The link for it will be down below in the description. You pay once and every single month you get hours upon hours of new AI tutorials ranging from AI automations, AI coding, doing deep research, coding agents, AI automations, creating images, creating videos, generating sound effects, you know, voice to speech. Yeah, you know, there's so many things that we teach in here and there's nobody on YouTube or in the whole world that can give you so much diverse knowledge of AI tools and AI as this course does, especially for only $20 that you pay only once. So if you're new, I'll suggest it. And the model here, if you log in, you know, it runs a little faster. So this is the Flappy Bird game. Let's give it a try. So yeah, I gotta say the game again, it has the, the typical error of being too hard. This game is just too hard for me to play. I really don't know why that happens, but you can also, you know, deploy it using this link. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the game. And yeah, the game is always hard. Every AI I have ever seen makes this game so much hard. I will ask it, try to make the game easier by 100%. Also improve. So I'm going to ask it to make the game simpler, easier to play, 
and also improve its graphics. Now, this is something new that I have been trying with the latest AI models to give you a better overview of how they work and if they are capable not of only generating code, but actually doing what is the most important thing in coding, which is code editing, being able to take current code, find the right context, what to change, and apply the changes. Like, this is the most important thing. In practical, everyday usage, you need to check if these models are able to edit the correct part of the code, do improvements, do fixes. So, in the next few videos, when we are testing, you know, these kind of models, we're going to prompting them two or three more times, just to get an essence, just to, just to feel if they're actually smart, or they just, you know, one sort of stuff out of their training distribution. But all in all, right now, this model seems quite capable. The results I see from this model are not bad at all. They're pretty much to the soda results from other models like Gemini, like Claude, like... Uh, so that's good. That's good. In all honesty, it's good to have competition. Even though this model is not the best on benchmarks, in terms of open source models or let's say cloud for opus non-thinking, again, this is a non-thinking model, which is important. So it's expected to not be that great on this kind of benchmarks. It does a very reasonable job, at least to what I have seen up till now. In the past for me, specifically when was benchmark sync, but right now I see it actually having good results, which is very beautiful to see. We need competition, AI needs competition. No lab, no company should keep most of the power. So let's see if it was able to do it. So yeah, super easy mode. It gives you, uh, you know, details about what to do. And let's see the game. And indeed, finally, a model was able to create a simpler game. Now this is playable. I really love the graphics. It's very, very nice. Really, I want to let... I want you to let me know down below in the comments if you've seen the past videos from other models. What do you believe about this? I really, I really, you know, I really like this. This is very exciting. I didn't really expect this game to be such such good in terms of result. I expected it to be a lot worse. So I'm going to finish with another website creator. So I want to create a you know modern page that is teaching people transformer models. Transformer is the architecture that powers all of the recent AI advances. And I want to see if you know these models can actually put a lot of knowledge in a single working web page in some kind of nice and interactive way. And what I have seen in the past six months is that models are able to create beautiful websites, but also add relevant, good information with also interactive ways. This is one of the biggest parts. We are moving away from just designing nice, working, uh, responsive websites to actually nice looking, interactive websites. So we, we move to the step of creating awesome websites, not just creating good websites, which is very, very nice. You know, in all honesty, AI for simple functions, for, uh, you know, simple websites, it's already there. You should not hire a developer to do these things. You can create amazing websites, simple ones, just by using AI in a single day. You should not hire. This is something that in the past would cost people thousands of dollars. Just, you know, one year, two years back, thousands of dollars for a simple website. But right now you can do it with AI, which is insane. So we actually got the response and I want to deploy it. This is the final result of today's video and it seems quite nice. As a preview of that I've seen, it seems quite nice and it's very, very, you know, fast to deploy. So this is the web page. All right, this looks interesting. Let's scroll a little bit. So it has these concepts. I really like it. This is like the model diagram of how the encoder and the decoder looks. Now, this is not perfect. It could be a lot better. Self-attention, encodings, implementation example. Now, this is very nice and interesting. And yeah, this is the training progress. That's also interesting. Really had no idea what the model tried to do there. Okay, that's not that great. Okay, so it actually tries to create a landing page, adds learners. All right, so these, what the model understood is like trying to create a website for a course creator. All right, so if I click research papers, doesn't go anywhere, but the FAQ is here. So, okay, this is a, you know, for a landing page, that looks nice. So change all of colors to black 
and red to make the style very modern. Make any visual improvements you want. So I will let the model go completely YOLO mode. Just do whatever you want, man. Just make the website better. So this is the result. And oh my God, it really changed the website. It made it so much better, at least in my eyes. I really love it. It's really a market machine at this point. Really also love these, even though they're not perfect. I really love the animations. Implementation here looks nice. Everything looks as, as, you know, as expected. And indeed, the website looks so much better. So guys, I think this is the first time I expect the model to perform worse but it actually performed a lot better. This is an amazing, beautiful website. Oh my God, this is incredible. This is insane.